name's Alan, uh, LSU graduate. Uh, so I'm going to go over the suspension and drive system of the rover, or part of the drive system. So the first thing that's unique about this is we use a four-wheel rocker system. Um, and it's modeled after the Mars rovers, uh, Spirit Opportunity and Curiosity. We only use four wheels instead of six. So the unique thing about this is, if I take this and rotate one wheel one way, the other one rotates in the opposite direction. So the way that works is um, this rocker arm pivots in the center and you can see a linkage that connects back and on this back side again it pivots and then connects to the other end in the same manner. Um, what this creates is a differential linkage so when one rotates one way the opposite, wheels, uh, the opposite rocker arm rotates the opposite direction. And the great thing about this is we can keep four points of contact on the ground at all times with deflections of up to at least five centimeters and we'll be doing more tests to determine that. Um, and also another unique part about this suspension system is we need it to save space. So in order to do that we designed it so it's collapsible. And if you can see here there's actually a clip and we actually pull this, this rocker arm can then begin the fold. And I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. So what that does is it allows the whole thing to squat down and reduce our storage height by about seven and a half centimeters. Um, and right now I'd also like to point out the wheels here. Um, the, rock, the suspension system as well as the wheels are all 3D printed. We designed these uh, specifically with the radius we wanted and a chevron pattern based on Andrew Space's work um, for uh, some of the best traction. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it off uh, its stand and I'm going to demonstrate it collapsing. I'm going to have Matt come and help me with that. So um, what we're doing is we're just pulling the tabs and releasing the locking mechanism. Good. And then we're going to rotate the arms up and hold it. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Okay. So um, stand in, in its uh, standard form, I would be able to let this go and it would stay squatted down. But there's extra hardware on the actual rover we don't have. so. The weight necessary to keep it down is not in place right now. But what will happen is when I let it, when I let go, we would usually drive these back wheels forward and the front wheels backwards, and that would assist this spring here in creating a lifting force. And what you'll see there is it's going to lift up on its own, and the mechanism will lock in place automatically. Now we have a rigid suspension system that could do the driving for us, and we also have ground clearance, which is key. We have seven and a half centimeters of ground clearance, which allows us to travel over rocks. 